Good morning. I'm just short of Dalry and I got up this morning at 7 o'clock and saw the rain outside and decided I'm not going off a hill. So I've been staying overnight at the Locals Mountaineering Club Cottage in Crane Larrick and some of the guys who are away to do a Corbett dropped me off at the car park. So my plan is to walk back the West Highland way back to um, Crane Larrick and part of the reason for that is I've got new boots on, a pair of Altbear boots that I've got a couple of weeks ago so I want to see how they perform. In the last seven, eight, nine years, every time I went out with my last pair of boots, I've had blisters. So let's see what happens with these ones. back at 12 and we've been going for about three kilometres now and arrived at the Curtin burial ground and you can see the headstones behind me. I'll pop a picture on later on just to give you the little spiel on uh, what they're about. And next to the burial grounds is St Philan's Priory which you can see is now in ruins. for about uh, an hour and a half now uh, from Dalry and I'm coming back up to the road on the West Highland Way. Quite a lot of people on the, the, going north on the West Highland Way. Uh, I was speaking to a German couple so they were enjoying the weather. I don't know why because it's uh, damp and dreek and I'm just standing here for a minute or two the midges are starting to eat me. So I'm going to get moving and I'll catch up later. You can tell you're getting near the road when you see a cone on top of a fence. This part of the West Highland Way runs parallel to the road from Crane Larrick up to Tyndrum. So it's about half past twelve and you can see the amount of traffic that's on it Saturday afternoon. This must be one of the boring sections. We're just walking through woodland like this and I have been for maybe oh, half a kilometre. So I've come out of the forest and as you can see uh, this bit of the forest is getting felled. Uh, it started to rain a little again, it's off and on. Uh, after I did my last piece the rain seemed to stop. Uh, I've come out in the clearing and just uh, stopped here and it started raining again. I think it's going to be like that all the way back down to Crane Larrick which is only a couple of kilometres away. But as you can see the Crane Larrick hills are in the background going from Ben Moore right along to Crew Cardley. Right, one of the things I've been noticing when I've been walking along the West Highland Way is the footwear that a lot of people have been using or wearing. And it ranges from uh, good boots through to trainers. However, I've noticed the majority have been wearing uh, approach shoes or approach boots. Uh, I'm all in favour of them but in the terrain I've been walking in I'm fairly 
glad that I have got a pair of boots on because I can feel the rocks, the boulders underneath my feet and that must be uncomfortable if you're wearing the, the softer sole approach shoes. So my recommendation if you are walking it the West Highland Way is get yourself a good pair of boots. I know we've been talking about boots and footwear, I thought now would be a good time to do a little piece to camera on my new boots. So a couple of weeks ago I bought myself a pair of Altbergs, uh, something because I've been told that they cater for different widths. It's one of the things I don't normally do when I'm out walking, particularly in the hills and the mountains, is listen to any kind of music. I like to hear the, all the different sounds you get, the wind, the rivers, the burns, animals, birds, you name it. On this occasion I decided to wear my aftershocks, which are bone inducting uh, headset that I use for running. The advantage of these is you can still hear, I can still hear the rivers, I can still hear the birds, and I can still talk to people. Uh, you might be wondering what I'm listening to. Well, I started off listening to Texas, and then uh, the, I've got a kind of mix of the Beatles on at the moment. I just went to my album, which has got about five or six Beatles albums, and just pressed the shuttle button. It's quite strange listening to the Beatles in the middle of the countryside, but good music and I enjoy that era, uh, 60s and 70s music. So, 10 and a bit kilometres later, after getting dropped off at Dal Rai, that's me just leaving the village of Cairn Larrick. I'm only a couple hundred yards away from the cottage where I'm staying for the night. It's been an interesting walk, uh, a lot steeper in places than I envisaged, I've got to admit that. Uh, it didn't cause many problems, just uh, I kind of thought it was a, a more level walk between Cairn Larrick and Tyndrum. However, it's uh, been interesting, the weather's been interesting, uh, a lot of rain, a lot of showers, uh, bits where there's no wind that was absolutely roasting, just with the lack of air circulating. But that's as uh, over our walk just now, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe by clicking on the like button as well. All the best.